know, looking over here at this house right there, you can see uh, that it's got boarded up windows in the top. So it's somebody's living there, but uh, they're not taking great care of it. We've got some nice brick houses here. Uh, some of them are frame. I got a couple frame houses right there, but you know some of these houses look at this They're taking great care of their lawn. They got the globes in the front yard for lights You know, this one's got a little bit longer glass missing the globe, but uh, you know someone's taking okay care of it Welcome to the investment properties for sale show folks thing is selling at or above list We are gonna provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour Won't watch to you giving it to you straight your property manager, guys, your property manager, that, that is a place that you could seriously source some deals, okay? It doesn't even have to be your property manager. It could be any property manager, right? So if you're out there, you're in Detroit, you're trying to source good deals, you want to go after tired landlords, okay? Tired landlords are one of the best sources for discounted properties. And how do you reach tired landlords, folks? You contact property managers, right? Because property managers, they're managing all these properties for all these landlords, and they know who's having a tough go of it. They know which one of their clients are getting ready to sell because they don't want to deal with it anymore, right? And that's exactly what I have for you guys here today. Check this out. 12288 Wilshire Drive, Detroit, baby. This is a property that is managed by uh, one of my property management partners, okay? Logical Property Management. Anytime I'm doing business over in Detroit, these are the folks I'm working with. These are the boots on the ground people. And they are a great resource for people like you because they have access to properties like this one. This particular property, it's what I would consider to be a distressed asset, okay? It's a single family home. They don't have all that, like all the turnkey, like wrapped in a bow information you would normally want and expect, okay? And the property is not currently performing the way a turnkey property would, okay? Like the market rent, it should be twelve fifty. The actual rent, long term tenant, it's only seven fifty. And guess what? This tenant is a fucking habitual late payer. Like eventually they seem like they get their money out of this fucking Yahoo, but it looks like they gotta pretty much threaten them with eviction every single fucking month. It's like pulling teeth to get rent out of this guy, which is insane because this asshole's paying about five hundred dollars less than he should. But that, folks, that is awesome for you. Not necessarily for the current landlord, but for you, if you're looking to buy undervalued, distressed real estate, right? You ain't going to find no tired landlords selling their property uh, at a discount if everything is hunky-dory and everything is going amazing. No, no, no. But you will find them. Uh, if they're in a little bit of a pickle, right? A lot of times people will end up in a little bit of a pickle and uh, they'll reach out to somebody like Logical and they'll be like, yo, I got this shit storm. Please solve the problem for me. A lot of times solving that problem is finding a new one of their clients to buy it, right? And that is kind of the situation we have here, right? Deeply discounted, right? Would normally go for over $100,000 if everything was going great. This, folks, this is what you want to do if you're looking for discounted properties in Detroit, I will leave you guys uh, with a full, unedited clip with a little bit more on-the-ground insight uh, from the folks on the ground in Detroit. Let's go. All right, here we are on a property on Wilshire. Uh, decent street. You can see there's a house there for sale. Uh, I should say a decent block. Uh, if you go three blocks that way, I passed about four vacant abandoned houses. Um, actually, not so bad. Um, but uh, I actually passed an ice cream truck driving down the street also. So some of the fun in Detroit, ice cream truck going by vacant abandoned houses. So the city is definitely on the upswing, but uh, yeah, you know, that's not totally there yet. So, but that's opportunity. So you can get into a gentrified area, you know, looking over here at this house right there, you can see uh, that it's got boarded up windows in the top. So it's somebody's living there, but uh, they're not taking great care of it. We've got some nice brick houses here. Uh, some of them are frame. I got a couple frame houses right there, but you know some of these houses look at this They're taking great care of their lawn. They got the globes in the front yard for lights You know, this one's got a little bit longer glass missing the globe, but uh, you know someone's taking okay care of it uh, And we got this house right here. 
Uh, it's falling over there a little bit. So they got that going on with the ramp. And uh, the owner wants to sell this. He doesn't know what he's doing. And uh, the tenants are paying $750 in rent. They're a little bit behind, but they do pay. We got to threaten them with court. We'd like to get rid of them, but the owner doesn't want to let us. So we deal with it. But this house could, it's a three bedroom bungalow. It could be renting for over a thousand bucks and it's only renting for $750. But that means opportunity. Can you smell the opportunity? So um, you might want to look into this one, contact us. We've got many like this, but uh, it's an opportunity for you to come in, maybe get rid of this tenant and uh, get a better tenant in there and get more cash flow. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.